Hey there, my friend. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whichever side of the world you are in right now. Welcome to the Daily Grind, and this is the title of our podcast, podcast, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're naming it that way because there, there is meaning, purpose, a way to live life even in the difficult routine or monotonous so I've been meaning to start this segment uh, with a series but right now I just feel that I needed to share something else today so I'm starting with a different message for the day And we're going to talk about the delays of life. Okay. So what do we do when there's delays? How do we cope with it? What what really does help and comfort up us when there's delays in our life, right? Um, the scripture that I would like to share with you is in John 11.16 or John 11.6. It says there, yet when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. Okay. So context of this uh, passage um, is that uh, Lazarus got sick and he was about to die. Lazarus is a brother, the brother of Mary and Martha. And they are all followers of Jesus and close friends of Jesus. And when Jesus heard that something had happened and Lazarus was very ill, it's very interesting um, to find out that he knew that he was sick, very ill, and yet, He stayed for two more days where they were at. That's a very odd thing, right? Um, very questionable thing, but delay, okay? When things happen, when God delays, we, we kind of feel hurt, don't you think? I think that's the number one that uh, happens in our hearts. We feel very hurt about it. With all the things happening in the world, um, it, the atheist's argument is that if there is a God, why, why is there suffering in the world? Why is this going on? It's like God is delaying justice. Is delaying answering our prayers. Is delaying doing what he promised. Uh, is that really true, though? Does God really not care about us? Okay, so number one that I'd like you to think about is that I think... What will help when we face the delays in life? Here we are praying about something. Here we are working on something. Here we are holding on the word that God gave to us and yet still nothing's happening. When we're on that spot, the number one thing we think about is that God does not love me. Because if he does, he would have done this. Yeah. If God loves us, why is there suffering in this world? Why is this happening? And yet, the word that God wants you to know this, this day is that he loves you. When you read John 16, I'm continue reading that passage, John 11, 6, 
and continue reading that passage, you will find that Jesus loved Lazarus very much, that he even wept. When he tarried, he said, okay, let's stay two more days. And then finally, after two more days, he said, okay, let's go, let's go back to Judea. Because we're, go we're going to Lazarus. And the time, um, it's getting a bit dangerous for him. Starting to get dangerous for him. And so the disciples even warned him, why are we going back there? But he said, I'm going back to Lazarus. And when he went back and he saw them, he cried. He cried about it. And that that's the only passage or uh, part of scripture we're in. We saw, we saw him in his humanity that he, he wept. He wept. That's the only time that it was mentioned that he wept. That's how much he loved him. And yet there's still that question. He loved him and yet. He tarried, he waited two more days. Uh, it's kind of a question, right? But God wants you to know that in your waiting, in your time of waiting, in your season of waiting, listen, He does love you. You know when you get hurt, when you get hurt He cries with you. That pain you've been feeling in your heart, he understands that. He weeps with you in all this. And it doesn't mean that he has forgotten you. He wants you to know that he remembers you, loves you. And number two, there is a good purpose in this delay. God has been meaning to do something. You see, God is not brutal that he just delays just because he doesn't care. He does care. Like I said, he loves you and he cares. And if there is a delay of the promise that God has given you, and if there is a delay for the answer that you've been waiting on, there is a purpose and most likely a good purpose for that delay. Um, if you continue reading that passage in John 11, when Jesus came and they told and he told them to roll the stone, Martha said, but but he's already dead four days by now and this the time his body body has started to deteriorate. What can you do? It's not just he died a minute ago. This was a rotting corpse, mind you. But Jesus said, Jesus told them, ordered them to roll the stone. Okay. Fourth day, rotting corpse. Why is that? Okay, and we know from the story, if you're familiar with it, that he calls out Lazarus, he calls Lazarus to come out, and he, he comes out, he's alive, and they unwrapped him. And he was alive. A rotting corpse, not just dead for a minute, an hour or two or three or four or five. Four days he's already rotting. And here he is, alive. That was a miracle, I'll tell you. It's a miracle. And we do not know, we question, like Martha, if you had been here, Lord, this wouldn't have happened. But then, it happened that way because God has a good purpose. He was going to show him his power. He was going to show him his glory through their pain and suffering. He was going to show the people around them this is a testimony, not just to Martha and Mary who believed in the Lord Jesus, but to the people around them. 
that Jesus is God. He was going to show them his glory, who he is. And it wouldn't happen if that corpse hasn't been dead for four days. So you see, sometimes we think evil has gotten way out of hand and it's just so dark. But God doesn't want us to give up because he has a good purpose. Sometimes when there is a delay, it's that time, it's in those times too that we grow in our faith, in our character, in patience, right? It's when those delays happen. Let me tell you, I can be patient. I am patient with people, at least most of the time. Um, and that is because I know God has been patient with me. I have experienced those times when God has been patient with me. So I can do the same thing to people. Um, in the past, I have. I have endured things so I can, I also am able to practice that same endurance as I run my, I, I, I ran my race at the moment. So it's not futile. It is these moments, these seasons of delays we're in. God is growing us. Our character, our faith. There is a purpose behind those delay, and what we need to do is not give up, right? So, when you think about the world situation, all the violence, all the pain, all the sufferings. We think that there is no justice. Where is the justice? It's delayed. And God has a purpose to that. When you study the entire Bible, you will, you will find how God has dealt with the nations. Okay, not just his people, but the other nations that surrounded them. That although God is going to punish what they've been doing, the injustice and everything. But he waits. That's how patient he is. He waits till the cup is full. And then when it starts to get full, that's it. And of course, before he does that, he constantly sends warning because God does not send judgment without first giving warning. When judgment comes, it is because they have not listened to the warnings. Whether we are God's people or not, it's the same rule. It's the same way. The Lord doesn't just give judgment. He sends first the warning. And when people don't listen, He still patiently waits and sends them. His messengers, the prophets, to tell people to turn away from their evil ways. And when, when they won't listen, the cup is full, it is time. We have that in Tagalog. If you, if you, if you are Tagalog listeners, we call that as puno na ang salop, right? Kaya kailangan ng kalusin. Tama ba yun? Kayusin, kalusin. Okay. So when the cup is full, it's, it's time, right? It's time. So there is um, God's patience. Sometimes it is part of God's patience why these delays are happening. But that doesn't mean that justice will not come, that judgment will not come, that the answer will not come. God is righteous. He is just. 
and perhaps there is a purpose why he's making us wait while why he is making those delays going back i said a while ago that when you read the entire bible when you reach revelation there is even a part there that talks about the tribulation right it's, it's still part that's already people are entering judgment and yet during even in that time there's still a window of hope for those who will turn from their wicked ways and come to God and God will allow that those things to happen right because he's, he's so patient he has a good purpose he's going to wait God's delay is actually God's perfect timing. Even if there is a delay, He really hasn't delayed. It's his timing is always perfect. So my friend, always remember that. This is not an accident. You are listening to it right now. I'm asking you. Are you experiencing delays in your life right now? Is there something that you have been praying about? You have been waiting on. And it's just not yet coming. God wants you to know He loves you. There is a purpose. You just hold on. In the meantime, hold on. You have a good day. be discussing things again when we come back to our segment beyond the daily grind god bless you all